Now it's our pleasure to give you an overview about our activities in terms of foaming simulation of PU systems for the automotive interior. And this is another example that innovations are also possible in the field of established materials and processes. So um, polyurethanes belong to the most versatile industrial polymers, for example, widely used in the transportation interior. Here, as flexible foams for the production of car seats and to improve the acoustic properties of the car, as semi-rigid foams to back foam instrument and door panel skins, and as very light thermoforms for the production of headliners. In addition to that, for the production of steering wheels, trunk floors and surfaces. So on average, in every car, more than 20 kg polyurethanes are used. And the main reason for this success are the wide um, product properties, so the adjustability and properties like comfort, acoustic, haptics and durability. So polyurethanes are formed by polyaddition reaction of a polyol component with an isocyanate, which is initiated by mixing the two liquid components. And then in contrast to thermoplastics, often polymerization and part formation is carried out in one step at the foma. And the properties, which is very important, depend then not only on the chemical composition of the system, but also on the local processing conditions at our customers. And therefore, we as chemical industry develop and offer tailored system solutions, um, fulfilling the individual T and OEM requirements. And thereby, two major reaction pathways play a role. First of all, the so-called gelling reaction between an isocyanate and alcohol, which um, builds up the polymer network and so the molecular weight. And then in addition to that, the so-called blowing reaction between an isocyanate and water, which leads to the formation of CO2 as blowing agent and an amine which further reacts. The sequence of these reactions depends on the chemical composition of the system and on the processing conditions. So the component temperature and the mold temperature, but also on the mold design. And thus is different at different points in the mold. And so BSF now is backward integrated in polyurethanes and offers system solutions for all relevant transportation applications. And here we follow a comprehensive approach. So meaning that we develop these tailored system solutions with support of our global R&D and tech center setup. And then we have an excellent technical service. And these are mainly responsible for the introduction of the PU system at the customer and the final adjustment of the systems to the customer requirements and vice versa. So small adjustment in terms of processing to the systems. And finally, we follow an industry approach, meaning that we have a strong key account management for the transportation industry. Today, we want to present you that we um, complete this comprehensive approach by the so-called PU foaming simulation. So this is a tool which can be used to visualize the PU foaming process at a very early stage of a project and so um, show critical aspects of a foaming process at a very early stage and can be used to increase the production efficiency at our customers. And this is now presented to you in detail by my colleague and expert Matthias Wohlmuth. Thank you very much, Katrin. I would like to start with uh, reminding all of us um, about the meaning of the word CAE. CAE stands for Computer Aided Engineering. This means that you take, take a part developed in a, in, a, in a computer aided design process, in a CAD process, and you add some computer aided engineering service to it. In our case, this is the PU forming simulation. This forming simulation then here shows you the actually forming, the, the actual forming of the of the final part, as you can see, see here uh, in, with the BSF logo. So what do we actually need for that? The only input from the customer side is, uh, that we need is, is the CAD model. Then we start our, our work by discretizing this CAD file into millions of small cells. You can see this in the upper left, because this is critical to actually compute the overall uh, forming process depending on the very local material properties in each of these cells. Particularly, this allows us to take into, uh, take into account the local processing conditions such as temperature, which as Katrin explained, is really crucial to predict the overall behavior. As you can imagine, um, such kind of simulation must be based on very profound material models, material understandings, and of course these models must be also calibri uh, calibrated and verified by uh, different types of experiments. This is the job of our 
uh, back office R&D units, and this is a continuous uh, R&D process that's, uh, that takes place all over the world and uh, all the time. Now we are taking the, the most reliable and the best, best of these models and are immediately integrating these into our simulation tool and offering them directly to our customers. So what is the outcome of the simulation uh, tool? This simulation tool shows the, shows the form flow. It also shows voids, maybe other critical areas. And now I would like to go uh, to a uh, discrete example, explaining you how now this technical service actually leads to a real value at, uh, at our customer site. So to this end, I would like to focus on our semi-rigid form, form systems, Elastoflex E. They are used for back-forming um, um, dashboard and door panel skins. Um, they are specifically developed to provide robust processing and also provide an excellent flowability such that you can make the most complex parts of But despite these excellent properties, we are convinced that you still must have the, an optimum process uh, really that allows you to get the best out of the material. And we are really convinced that our simulation tool can help you to identify these optimum process uh, settings in a very early stage of the project, just relying on the CAD model. So let me show you the example of last year's BMW X1. This was uh, formed by our long-term customer, Jan Feng. Um, they used the Elastoflex E3595-100, and due to the complexity of that mold, it has a lot of uh, thick areas, but also a lot of thin areas. It is processed in an open mold technology. This, is, this means, as you can, uh, could see, the, the, the actual mixing head ran all over the mold, poured in the foam, then the mixing head moved out, and the, foam, and, and the mold closes, and only distinct venting areas are being kept open. So what is now the goal to, um, to our simulation tool? The goal here is now to specify the exact process settings that actually make, uh, enable you at the end to, to, to actually form this project. As the experts among you might have noticed, there are in this uh, shown path, there are a lot of critical areas, a lot of uh, voids left. But also you, the customer feedback shows you that at the end we were able to come up with a working solution um, providing low scrap rates and a high production efficiency. So how are we doing that? First of all, we, we start with a specific configuration. So we, so we talk to the experts on our customer side and our own process experts. Then we propose mold settings, the orientation, when you want to close it, the venting system, all that. And we also come up with an initial mixing head path. So this means how the form is actually distributed all over the mold. Then we run the forming simulation, as you could see on the previous slides, which then shows us the critical areas and where we have to make some improvements. And now the very important part is that having the new ability to really track the foam back in all, uh, in all the different regions of the mold, uh, it is much easier to come up with an improved process settings. And then we talk again to our own experts and the ones from our customers, modify these settings, come up with an improved setting, and run the simulations again until we really are confident that we can build a part using this process. Typically, this involves about five iterations, comparing each of them four or five different simulations. And of course, this means a tremendous computational effort. This can easily add up to 100,000 of computational hours. And this is a, it's a huge effort, but it is also part of our simulation offer. And I, we think that it is necessary to really help our customers to, ma to make the best part. So in conclusion, I hope that I could convince you that we not only developed a simulation tool that can actually predict uh, the, form, the forming behavior correctly, but that we also developed it to a level where you can really use it in an everyday workflow. So we are, uh, we are able to deliver reliable results in a timely manner, which fits to, our, fits to the project timelines of our customers. And because we have very good feedback from many customers and many projects, we are convinced that we should expand this further to new applications and also to uh, other PU materials. And who knows, our classical ultra-sim service for engineering plastics 
also knows that we will not restrict ourselves to just the process simulations, but of that, of course, we want to combine that with further mechanical analyses and to really predict, accurately predict the final uh, properties of the part. So you see there are a lot of things um, were developed, but of course, many, many other things can be done. And we really cordially invite all of you to talk to us and to help us steer this development process such that it creates the the best value for our customers. Thank you. Okay, in summary, I hope, or we hope, that we could show you that BSF is a very reliable partner in terms of polyurethanes, and that we follow a comprehensive approach, mainly based on close customer interaction. So in detail, we develop and offer the tailored system solutions. We have a superior technical service, which is now completed by our PU foam fill simulation, and we have a global network with R&D capacities in all regions, in all relevant regions and production capacities, and we have the strong automotive competence. BASF. We create chemistry.